Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hi, good evening. Very How good. I you? see you. I'm fine. Hi, Marco, Mariano, Alexander, Francisco. Excellent. I can see you guys now. Very good. How was your day today at work? Everything fine? Everything fine, teacher. Excellent. Okay. Very nice. I was working hard. Of course, Francisco, I believe you were working hard. That's nice. Just give me one quick second, guys, please. Okay. So what is your boy's name, Marco? What is his name? Your son's name. <laughs> he likes it, the, the English. He likes English, hi. Hi, what's your Hi. name? Hi, what's your name? My name is Marco David. My name is Marco David. My name is Marco David. Oh my goodness. Hi, Marco David. Very nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, he has the, the same name that with me. That's right. Yes, I can tell. Very oh. good. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, I have a daughter, daughter too. Okay. His name is Maria Jose. Oh, is she older than him? Oh, hi, Maria Jose. Hi. hi. How are you? ¿Cómo está are you good? Yeah? <laughs> Very good, Maria Jose. Nice. That's a nice family, Marco. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> Very nice. All right. Yeah, very good. Okay. So, hi, Johnny. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Did you begin teaching already? Yes. When did you start? Uh, the last month. Last month? The last Monday. Ah, oh, I thought you said last month. I'm like, December? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. And you're going to school or you're still teaching from home or both? At school. Okay. And all the students are going to school now? Yes. Uh, only presential. Wow, classes. really? Yes. Okay. All right. Is the school small? So-so. Mm, okay. About 300 students. students. Sí. And 300 students in the same school. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Johnny, you have to be careful. <laughs> yes. All right. Very nice. Okay. All right. So I see also Ever. Hi, Ever. Daniel, Edwin. Ah, Trini. Very good. No la vimos ayer por acá. Very nice. Carla. All right. And Jorge Argueta. All right, guys, very good. So we're going to continue. Yesterday, we were talking a little bit about um, abilities. We were talking about qualifications, all right, that we may have. Um, personal abilities, 
and qualifications for a job, for specific jobs, all right? So that's, that's what we were talking about yesterday, especially for the people that were not in class yesterday. I'm gonna take attendance in like about 10 minutes, seven minutes, so everybody else joins class. All right, very good. So let me just um, open up our book. Hi, Amilcar. Hello, Amilcar, me escucha? Hi, how are you? No, no, no good, teacher. What happened, I, Amilcar? I am sick. You're sick? We, yes. Oh, no, Amilcar, really? Okay. Uh, but are you feeling okay? Uh, the class is okay, okay. teacher. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. All right. Igualmente, Amilcar, nos volvimos a encontrar. <laughs> yeah, very nice. All right. Muy bien. A ver, um, tenemos aquí a... Hola, Jasmine, ¿me escucha? Hi, sí. Hi, hi, Jasmine. Ayer no se conectó, ¿verdad, Jas? Sí, ayer eh, le comentaba ahí que tenía problemas de señal de, de internet, que andaba en una zona un poco lejos. Ok, all right. Y no, no, había, y no, había, no había llegado a mi casa. Ok. Pero aquí estoy. Aquí está ya, Yasmin. Muchas gracias. Excellent. Very good. Ok, so we keep on having more people now. Um, Carlos Walberto is with us now too. Very nice. And yeah, and many people are joining us right now. Ok. So as yesterday, we were talking about qualifications and abilities, all right? Right now, I want you to think about your qualifications, your real qualifications for the job you really have. Yesterday, we were talking about any job that I gave you, right? Teacher, doctor, sales representative, or um, uh, analysis, uh, uh, like, um, someone that ana analyzes credits, all right? But that was yesterday, all right? Now, I want you to think about your qualifications for the job you do. For example, I know Johnny is a teacher. I know Trini is a teacher, all right? So what are your re real qualifications that you have in order for you to have the job that you have? All right, so I want you to make a list of five qualifications that you possess, okay, that you use and that you need in your job, okay? Let's do that right now. Everybody thinking and writing. Hi, Maria Melina, good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right, Maria Melina, right now everybody's thinking about your real qualifications that you have for your job where you work. Okay? Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Trini. Nice to see you, Trini. Very good.
All right, guys, are you ready? Do you have your, your own qualifications ready? Yes? Or yes, you need more too. time? Yes, Daniel? I have only, I have only three. <laughs> okay, ah, but you think two more. Come on, Daniel, you can do it. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Three is fine. Three is enough. All right. Everybody else is finished too? Mariano, you're ready with your qualifications? So, so? All right. All right, Carla, what about you? Are you ready with your qualifications? No, Carlita, what happened? All right, les voy a dar unos dos minutitos más. Keep on thinking, para los que acaban de ingresar, estamos ahorita making a list of five qualifications that you possess, that you have for your job, all right? Okay. For your real job. Ayer hablamos de trabajos que no eran real, but today we're talking about real jobs. Your real job. What are five abilities or five qualifications that you needed in order for you to get or to have the job you have now in real life? I'm going to give you two more minutes. Teacher, I have a question. Um, what do you say in barredora? Excuse me? I, uh, in the, in the, uh, how do you say barredora? In barredora. The, in, in my work, yes, in, in my workplace, and we, ha, we use a platform for parking in the airplane. Mm -hmm. For the platform is keep clean. We, we use uh, utilizamos una barredora para para es una es una máquina especial que recoge toda la la, la tierra uh -huh. las piedras pequeñas es una nosotros la conocemos como barredora entonces no sé cómo sería una palabra adecuada uh -huh. uh, swap <laughs> yeah swap because meter. no no no, no. Yeah, I'm not too sure because that would be a very specific name for the machine, Daniel. Um, yeah, like a broom is a normal broom. All right. Uh -huh, yeah, it, yeah, because it's very specific. Yes, yes, it's very specific. See, uh, in fact, uh, all all the the all, all the instruments. Is are very specific. Yeah, I know. For, for yeah, my job. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. You know, I just found one, but I don't know if that would be correct. It says industrial sweeper. Mm. But I don't. Sweeper. I'm not. Okay. To uh, be honest. Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, it says I, in. I have a fine uh, sweet, sweet machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here I find it's it as industrial it's sweeper. It's, it's, mm -hmm. Okay. It may be that one, but I don't know. It may have an, another name, um, Daniel. All right. Okay. okay. En lo que siguen pensando. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to take attendance. All right. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. Carlos is not here. All right, uh, Carlos Walberto Rodriguez. Present teacher. Daniel Antonio Luna. 
Domingo Alexander González. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present. Present. Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. José Francisco Hernández Ábalos. Carla Beatriz, perdón, Carla Benazir Lara González. I'm sorry, Carla. Present, Miss. Thank you. All right. Uh, Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. No, I hear teacher. Thank you, Maritza. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you, Misael. Nancy Lisset Rodriguez Escoto. Romeo Alexis Rodrigo Joaquín. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodriguez. Present, present, yes, hi, present. Jasmine. Thank you. Yeah. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez and Amilcar Cañengues Aceituno. Present teacher. Yes, thank you, Amilcar. All right, very good. Okay, guys, let's see. Um, take, take care. Yes. Take care. Uh, I, don't, I don't hear my name, but because I have problems with the internet. Yeah, yeah, no problem, Daniel. I already have you down here. Don't worry about it. Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank you. All right, let's see. What about um Eve? Can you tell us the qualifications you need for your job? Okay, teacher. What's your um song qualification? What we need is um a disciplinated punctual or I don't know what is the specific uh, meaning for the facility uh, palabra or word skill or communication skills. Uh, communication skills, yes. Uh, diligence. Okay. And me falta one. Discipline. Excuse me? And discipline of All right, okay, very good, thank you. Let's see, Maritza, what are some of your qualifications that you need for your job? Um, my qualification are, um, I can manage Supplies inventory for project. Okay. I can make purchase order in sub system. Oh yes, okay. Uh, I can use spreadsheet. Okay, very nice. And the and the other in my in the other, I can use the computer. I can use the scanners. I can use the copier. All right, so like to be able to use the office supplies, right? Okay, perfect, very good, thank you. Let's see, what about um, Hilmar? What are the qualifications you need in your job? In my job, <laughs> the teamwork, innovate and create software. Uh, to have any 
Justice. Mm, plan alternate work roles. Okay. And um, repair computers. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Johnny, qualifications for your job. Okay. Um, I can talk with students and parents. I can write didact didactic letters. I can control A to 40 students. <laughs> oh my goodness, Johnny. Uh -huh, that's a talent. Yeah. <laughs> I can use computers mm -hmm. and I can use programs. Yes, very good. And now you can use platforms too, Johnny. Yes. Yes, Google very Cloud. good. Yes. Okay. When you say cartas didácticas, we say lesson plans. All right. That's so, so. your le uh, yeah. Carta didáctica in English is lesson plan. Okay. All right. Thank yeah. You. Very good. Excellent. Let's see. Um, let's listen to two more. I need volunteers. Tell me about your qualifications at your job. I teacher. Uh, okay, Alexander and then Daniel. Uh, I can uh, electric uh, I can electronic. Um, I can mechanica, mechanic, yeah, mechanic uh, I can use use all uh, tipo no sé si es kits o kits. El que decía, tip, el qué? Tipos, types? tipos, types, types. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can use all types of the electrical or electronic okay. manufacturing instrument. Oh, I can okay. use all things, all tools. Okay. Times, all times of tools. Uh -huh. Okay, all kinds of tools. Very good, very good, uh, Alexander. Very nice. Okay, what about Daniel? Okay, teacher. Uh, my job is ramp agent. I can drive a forklift. I have a training about international signals for parking planes and helicopters. And really, Daniel? Cool. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> use of, the, of radio communication, use of fire, fire extinguisher, and use of sweet machine. Now, the machine that you see. Wow, very good, Daniel. So, Daniel, you can actually park planes? Really? Yeah, yeah, really, really, yes, yes. Uh, planes and helicopters, near planes, big planes. Wow, <laughs> yes, yes. No, no, o sea que no un parqueo problem. para un carro, no problem for you. <laughs> that's, that's a toy. Cool, very that's good. Toy, yeah, yeah. Interesting, all right, cool, but, I but, like that. Only, only, uh, um, only uh, for say, teacher, uh, I am the people, how say? I am the people who the pilot is the first to see in the ramp. O sea, soy la primera persona, soy la primera persona que el piloto ve en la rampa donde se va a parquear. Entonces yo oh. soy el que, el, que, el que guía hacia dónde. Yo le, le digo a dónde se va a parquear. Wow, that's pretty cool, ah, yo... Daniel. <laughs> I like yes, that. That sounds right. exciting. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Excellent. All right. Later, we're gonna you're gonna go, you're gonna tell me um, more qualifications that you possess. All right. I'm gonna share my book with you now. All right. So let's go here. Uh, let's go to page nine. Yesterday we were reading this. All right. Acuérdese que para decir eh, habilidades o eh, decimos qualifications, all right? That's how we say it, qualifications, all right? Let's see. Here, I'm just gonna read it so you guys like remember the reading so we can answer questions one and two. It says, hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andrea Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We're offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects and I am very good at sales. 
That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using a spreadsheet? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use a spreadsheet. But I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay. Now, says here, question number one. Excuse me, guys. My goodness. This hour is very loud here. All right. Um, number one, what are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available? And number two, what are the qualifications for the work you do? La número dos ya la hicieron. All right. Porque es lo que con lo que iniciamos ahorita en clase. Solo conteste question number one. What are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available according to the conversation? Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes and then I'm going to ask some people what the qualifications are, what are the qualifications needed. All right, what qualifications are needed for the manager position? Speak Chinese, yes. Another speak one? Chinese. And use of the spreadsheet. Yeah, oh. yes, the use of a spreadsheet. All right, what else? And can you be good at sales too? All right, yes, it needs to be good at sales. Yes, it needs, he or she needs to be good at sales. Yeah. Very good. Anything else? Case, teacher, yes. In this case, because uh, <laughs> using in Honduras, uh, speak Spanish. No? Also, yes, they have to speak Spanish because they're going to work in Honduras. All right, yeah, very good, Mariano. Excellent. All right, any other qualification? Si me hacen el favor con un micrófono que está abierto y se escucha como un poco de interferencia. All right, thank you. Okay. So now, we're, yes. Uh, what is a spreadsheet? Ah, Amilcar, spreadsheets es... Eh, uy, se me olvidó la palabra. Ayer la dijimos. Hoja de cálculo. cálculo. Hoja de cálculo. Hoja de, de cálculo. Hoja de cálculo de Excel. For example. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, you're welcome. No me sale la palabra. All right. Very good, guys. Thank you. All right. So now let's go here. It says how to use can and can't. Remember that can and can't, all right, is a model verb. All right. And sometimes, voy a dejar de compartir un segundo. Sometimes we use can and can't to express. Um, to express ability, all right, or sometimes we can use can and can't to express permission, to ask for permission, all right? So you can say, uh, teacher, can I go? Can I um, turn on my camera? Can I turn it off? You're asking for permission. And it's the same model auxiliary, all right, can. But in this case, we're going to use can or can't for abilities, all right? That's why we've been talking about um, what things um, 
what which abilities for example you have and you can do all right so let's go here um so lo estaba viendo okay jonathan hi jonathan jonathan alexander yes all right yeah hi jonathan nice to meet you my name is jessica jonathan uh que más entró después nancy Lisette also anybody else that came in later romeo yeah romeo ahí está all right yes can you hear me yes i can hear you okay thank you yes i can hear you well and victoria maria vasquez is not here no, not yet. Okay, all right. I just saw you, those two. Very good. Okay, so can and can't for ability right now. All right, so I'm going to show you this. Hold on, where were we? Okay, here we are. Okay, so here, let's see. Uh, Marco, can you please read uh, the first part where, where it says use? Can you read that, Marco, for me? Uh... Uh, how to use can and can't mm -hmm. use can't when you want to want to name your abilities use can't when you don't know how to do something oh, okay very good so thank you marco you use can when you want to name your abilities for example i uh, you say i can speak english i can drive i can park planes like daniel all right, I can, um, I don't know, run fast. Okay, those are abilities. And then you say can't when you don't know how to do something. Okay, now let's see. Here we have some examples. Uh, let me see here. Jonathan, can you read the examples of can? And Jorge Argueta, can you read the examples of can't? I can speak three language. Uh huh. Go ahead. The other one. I can't use the spreadsheet, but I learn fast. All right. Very good. Jorge, lea las otras dos que faltan entonces, por favor. I can't use. Um... La positiva, la positiva y la negativa, Jorge. De la okay. de abajo. Ajá. I can't can direct small projects. Uh -huh. I can't use this program, but I am a fast learner. Excellent, Jorge. Thank you. All right. Just make sure that when you say can, it's can. All right. And when you say no, it's can't. I can't. Mm -hmm. It suena esa te. All right. Very good. Fatima. Tell me one thing, Fatima, that you can't do. I can't drive. Oh, all right, very good. Okay, Maria Melina, tell me something that you can't do, Maria Melina. Um, I can eat hot food. Oh, all right, very good, interesting, very good. Uh, let me see. Jasmine, something that you cannot do. Perdón, teacher, estoy un poquito perdida. A ver, o estamos usando el can y el can't. El can, acuérdese que lo usamos para habilidad que usted pueda hacer. Y el can't es para algo que usted no puede hacer. All right, entonces vamos a decir I can't y lo que no puede hacer, por ejemplo. Ok. Eh, y, y también puedo decir lo que puedo hacer. Si gusta, claro, me puede dar un ejemplo de cada una, Yasmin, sí. Ok, I can, I can drive a car. Ok. Eh, I can, I can use the, 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 the patineta, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, a skateboard. <laughs> Skate skateboard. Ah, you can't skate. <laughs> All right, you, you cannot use the skateboard. Okay, very good. Interesting. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right, let me see. Mariano, tell me something you can't do, Mariano. 
I can't play the guitar. Oh, all right. Uh, Carlos Walberto, something that you can't do. I can't swing. Oh, me neither. All right. Um, Maritza, something that you can't do. I can knit the hair. Excuse me, Maritza? I can knit. Oh, yeah, you cannot knit. Me neither. <laughs> All right. Very okay. good. Yeah, interesting. Very good. Okay. okay. Voy, a, voy a dejar de compartir un ratito aquí. All right. Solo recordarles. Can y can't son verbos modales, verbos modales auxiliares, all right? Por lo tanto, recordarles, eso ya lo vieron, yo sé que ya lo vieron porque igual he dado todos los, los básicos. Como son verbos modales, ellos no necesitan de nadie más. A lo que me refiero es que usted no puede decir, por ejemplo, I don't can't, all right? Y menos que ya van a pasar al intermedio uno. Eso lo dejó en el básico 1. All right, permítame, déme un segundo. Era un caterpillar ese. Tremendo. Aquí. All work. right. It's a can work. I know. All right. Entonces, decimos I can't nada más. When we talk about modal verbs, es que esta hora es tremendo. All right. When we talk about... Um, when we talk about ya, modal ya, verbs... Ya va a terminar, ya va a terminar la temporada. Ay, pero cuando termina, no sé, sí. Daniel. Eh, yo creo que a mediados de febrero, creo. No, yo creo que hasta abril, no. ma. No ah, sé. No, no. no sorry, pasa. teacher, but that eh, entraría en carros o camiones. ¿Cómo se no, diría? No, es truck. que esas son rastras. Das ah, truck, no, eh, rastras, car, cañeras, car, ¿no? Or inter, don't have caterpillar. I know, I it's terrible. We don't have the, the buses. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, all right, sorry guys. Okay, ustedes diga que es unido ambiente nada más. All right, very nice. Entonces, we say that when we use modal I verbs, know. they don't, we don't use don't, we don't use doesn't, we don't use didn't, nothing, all right? Only the modal verb, okay? Also, when we use modal verbs, for example, can or can't is the same for everybody. I can say, for example, Fatima can't drive. I can't drive. You can't drive. Alexander can't drive. Si fuese el caso, obviamente. Entonces, it's the same. Subject plus modal verb can't. All right. I can't. And then the base form of the verb. All right. So I say... Fatima can't drive. All right. Yo nunca voy a decir Fatima can't drives. All right. Esa, esa regla es, sería totalmente nueva. All right. No existe. No la inventemos. Okay. So we say Fatima can't drive. Or I can say Jonathan and Misael can speak English. All right. They can speak English. We can speak English, you can speak English, I can speak English, all right? So, a subject plus can or can't, independientemente, o depende de lo que si puede o no puede, plus the base form of the verb for everybody, okay? Yes, never use don't. All right, no, no, que no se le cruce por la mente. Usted no puede decir, ah, no, teacher, I don't can't. All right, no, that's not possible. All right, very good. Okay, hey, that was just a reminder, guys, for you. Now let's go back here. We're going to do this right now. Teacher, yes. for example, uh, I can dance. Yes, you can say I can't dance. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good. If it's affirmative, you say, I can't dance. If it's negative, you say, I can't dance. All right, el de la can't suena. All right, I can't dance. I can't dance. Okay. Very good, yes, all right, okay. So I want you to work on exercise five, all right? Hold on. I want you to work on exercise five, one, two, three, four, five. Lo van a hacer solitos y lo vamos a revisar. Let's do it two minutes. Three. <laughs> 
I can't help you today. I'm really busy. He is Tarea. Excuse me? He is Tarea, number one. Uh -huh. sí. Es la tarea de ahora. Uh, no recuerdo, quizás sí, ha de ser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Yes. All right, let's see. Number one, um, I'm going to ask someone that hasn't participated yet. Vamos a ver. Uh, Francisco, you do number one, please. Um, yes, Mariano, you do number two. It's okay. All right. Edwin, you do number three. Trini, you do number four. And Romeo, you do number five. All right, so what is number one? Okay. okay, I am sorry, I can't help you today. I'm really busy. Okay, very good. Number two? I just can't manage to wake up on time. I'm always late. Yeah, very nice, thank you. Number three? <clears throat> Look, it's, it's right there. Can you see it? It's so obvious. Excellent, thank you. Number four. I can speak German. I live in Germany for eight years. Excellent, and the last one. She does have a dreaming license. She can drive a car. Very good, thank you. All right, so number one, it says, I'm sorry, I can't help you today. I'm really busy. Please remember the pronunciation for this adjective is busy. It's not busy, it's not busy, it's busy. All right. Number two, I just can't manage to wake up on time. I'm always late. Por más que usted trate, but you're always late. Typical Salvadorian. Never, right? Very good. Number three, look, it's right there. Can you see it? It's so obvious, all right? Number four, I can speak German. I lived in Germany for eight years. Number five, she doesn't have a driving, driving license, all right? She can't drive a car, all right? Very good. All right, I want you to do this right now, guys. We're going to work on this diagram. Write three things that you can do and three things that you can't. Eso para empezar. When you finish, all right, I start thinking three things that you can and three things that you cannot. And then you're going to go to your groups, all right? And then your classmate and you, you're going to ask them. For example, you can say, Trini, tell me what can you do? And Trini is going to say, oh, I can use a Google Classroom platform. 
I can um, speak Spanish and I can drive, okay? Finished. Y lo pregunta también, the things that you can't do. All right, so the idea is for you to socialize and talk about the things that you can do and the things that you can't do. All right? Ahorita, perdón, eh, while I send you to the groups, okay? I want you to uh, think about your three can sentences and three things that you can't do. All right? Nos vamos a ir a los grupos, vamos a estar un ratito ahí, yo los voy sacando después, okay? La idea es que se pregunten, what can you do? What can't you do? Okay? Let me see here, we're 24 without me. We're gonna open up eight groups. Yeah, all right, let's go. Hi, Marlon. Hola, ahorita voy. <risa> ya sabe. Ya sabe. <risa> Mire, de verdad que yo no entiendo por qué me pasa. Permítame, que ni sé dónde estoy ahorita. Casa del amor, dicho. <risa> y eso me va a estar pidiendo otro compañero ahorita. Ay, Dios. Muchos. Sí, ahorita, 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 ahorita. Mire, ahorita, Johnny. Hoy sí. Ya, yeah, ok. All right. Bueno. Hello, teacher. Hi. We need to use the share in the platform. Yeah, in, in yeah. The... I already, I already, um, like, give you the permission to do that. Yes. All right. Check now. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, teacher. Excellent. You're welcome.
All right, guys, very good. Everybody's coming back now. All right. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's see. We're waiting for some other people to join us back. They're coming back now. Okay, did you, did you have enough time to practice this time? Yes, everything was fine with the practice, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Excellent, very nice. Remember that yeah. the idea is for you to practice the more, like, more time, all right? Let's see, I'm gonna take attendance right now of the second hour. All right, Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. All right, Carlos Alberto Rodriguez. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo oh. Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Thank you. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present. Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Present. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. José Francisco Hernández Ávalos. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present teacher. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. Yes, Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Present teacher. Lice, thank you. Nancy Lice Rodriguez Escoto. Present teacher. Romeo Alexis Rodriguez Joaquín. Present. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Mariano Jose Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Um, Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. And Amilcar Cañengues Aceituno. Present. Thank you, Amilcar. All right, very good, guys. Let's continue here then with our book, okay? So here we have, I'm gonna show you this. All right, I don't think you have any questions with can and can't because that's fairly easy. I think it's easy to understand. If you have any questions, please let me know. Now we're going to do this. Page 11, all right, it says, I will be able to talk about benefits I would or could bring to a company, all right? Here it says, can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? What specific benefits do you provide to your company? All right, we're going, we're going to read the conversation together here. A ver, Jasmine, can you be Andre? And okay. can you see here? And Maria Melina, can you be Kurt? Okay. Keep, keep how comfort day do you feel working in the Sales area? With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about, about that. Look and you bring to this company as an employer. I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. 
Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. All right, thank you, girls. All right, si gustan, apagan sus micrófonos por ahí. Very good. Maritza, can you be Andre? And uh, Fatima, can you be Kurt? Okay, Kurt. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I will be of great help in large projects. All right, very good, let's see. I need two guys. Um, Hilmar, can you be Andre? And Marlon, can you be Kurt? Okay, here. How comfortable do you feel working in this area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure, I am sure about that. Look, can you bring do this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. All right, very good guys, thank you. All right, so the conversation reads as, as follows. It says, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects, okay? Revisen, please um, check over the conversation and tell me if there is something you don't know how to pronounce or that you don't know the meaning. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable, all right? No es comfortable, ¿verdad? Table es la mesa, comfortable. Comfortable. Excellent, a good pronunciation, all right? Comfortable. Comfortable, yes, comfortable. And employee. 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 Employee, all right, very good. Que sería empleado, all right? Very good, yeah. any other word? Teacher. The name of access, asset, teacher, please. Ah, the, name. the asset, it says, I would be a great asset. Es como un buen elemento. Okay. Yo sería un buen elemento en la empresa o en la compañía. La compañía. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Very good. Yes, Johnny. Uh, with comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, in Spanish, I can say, I say, comfortable but in english why you don't say the r r excuse me um it's just the way they pronounce it johnny usually they omit some letters it's like for example wood the letter l is not pronounced we don't say wood or we don't say could we say could and we say wood all right so sometimes there are some letters that we omit 
and we just don't pronounce them, Johnny. Or they are they sound really together, so it may seem that we don't pronounce them, but we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Any other word, guys, or any um, word that you want me to repeat for pronunciation or explain the meaning? Uh, what is asset, teacher? Um, I um, elemento. En el sentido de cuando usted empieza en una empresa, usted dice, yo podría ser un buen elemento en esta compañía porque hablo cinco idiomas. Okay. Right. Ser elemento o activo, ¿verdad? Sí, depende del, eh, depende del contexto. contexto, ¿verdad? Pero en este contexto es como yo sería un buen elemento. All right. right. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, anything else? All right, acuérdense la, la pronunciación es experience, great, all right, igual con would, la L es muda, igual could, you don't pronounce the L. All right, you don't say would or you don't say could. All right, you say would and could. Could, mm -hmm. I could be. Yes, very good. Okay, so here we have number one and two. It says, what would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? Do you consider that experience is important and why? All right, let's work on these two questions. I'm just going to move it here para que puedan ver the conversation. Think about the benefits of having Kurt in the company. What are the benefits? Why is Kurt a good asset for the company? Uh, maybe because he's uh, a fast learner. Maybe, yes, because he's a fast learner. Another one, another benefit. Here, how experience in the construction industry. Yes, yeah. he has experience in the construction industry. Very good. Another benefit. <laughs> experience as a manager yeah he also has experience as a manager very good let's see number two um fatima do you consider eso no está ahí en la conversación eso es lo que usted piensa do you consider that experience is important fatima for a job any job yes because uh, the experience is uh, para desarrollar, ayuda a hacer mejor su trabajo. Okay, it helps, yeah, it helps to it's make, uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Sorry, sorry. Yes, finish, Fatima, uh-huh. Yes, yes, finish. Okay, very good, thank you. Yes, Maria sure. Marina, you were going to say something, uh-huh. Yes, in my opinion, teacher, the experience is very important. Yes. But um, now, mm -hmm. um, all the companies, they require experience. Yes. In the, the young people, mm -hmm. they don't have opportunities. Yes. For, um, um, to work in the companies because they say uh, we need five years experience. experience. Okay. Yeah. And they don't have opportunities. Mm -hmm. All right. It's very contradictory. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. Very good. Any other um, opinion? You? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, one opportunity the the war. Uh huh. Uh, I, uh, one opportunity the the war, and in and the company. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Very good. 
All right, anybody else? Thank you, Alexander. Anybody else that you think, do you think experience is important or it's not so important? What do you guys think? Marco. It depends okay. about the company teacher uh -huh. because in my in my experience mm -hmm. in my in this job uh, and I have I don't have experience in this uh -huh. in this area. I have experience in drive, in another in drive area. car and another area from transportation. Uh -huh. If I apply to the to the opportunity, uh -huh. no problem. Uh, give me the training and mm -hmm. No problem. And you got the it, job. It, it, it was, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is it is how how can I say is the about the company? Okay, yeah. All right. Yes. It depends on the company. Yeah, I think so. All right. Anybody else? All right, very good. Marco, yes. yes? Uh, the experience is important because they open doors in everywhere. Okay. But to make that that experience, uh, it it's very difficult because in El Salvador you need have eighteen years old and they have five need years of experience. Uh, have twenty years of experience. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very complicated. It's very complicated, but in other company. How um, how manufacturing? Mm -hmm. You have eighteen years old or uh, fifty years old mm -hmm. one company, yeah, and and not have experience. But okay. the uh, the last month mm -hmm. in my company, uh, bueno, llegaron uh -huh. uh, 20, 20, 20 people. Uh, of 20 people, only uh -huh. five, only five. Got the uh, job. Got the job. All right. And it, it's a different, very, very, very must. Okay. In El Salvador, egresan, como se dice? Yeah. Like they finish their programs, their university programs? Or the basic. Uh -huh. um, one thousand, one uh, well, thousand. I don't know, but it's on it's a a, a big uh, people of uh, need need to work, but right, not yeah. mm, not be working in this moment. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I hear your point, and I I, I totally agree with you. It's funny because sometimes mm -hmm. they say, okay, we want young people like 20 year 20 year olds or 22 with five years of experience how are you gonna get that you know so it's, it's very difficult okay very good yes. okay yes francisco tell me okay i think that uh, uh, experience is important important but and and depends on of the company because there are companies that and that doesn't a lot of responsibilities and in and at work and and in, in, in other case uh, there are companies that that need uh, a lot of responsibilities and okay. and and so in this case it is necessary that you have experience. experience. Okay. All right. Very good, that. Francisco. Yeah, I think yeah, I hear your point. Thank you. All right. Solo voy a hacer un paréntesis. Veo como varias cámaras apagadas y recuerden recuerden que tenemos que tenerlas encendidas. Please, thank you. All right. Si sí, hay varios. Solo a Milcar ahorita porque está indispuesto de salud. All right, los demás, eh, thank you. All right, excellent, thank you guys. It's very, very um, nice to see you, okay? All right, so we're Teacher, going to, yes, Alexander, one, tell me. The question uh, in, in the, the green access is, is use idioms. Is it, no, uh, no, it's, mm, 
It's not an idiom, um, Alexander. It's no, it's not an idiom. It, it's it's something that we say. For example, when you go to an interview, usually they can ask you what what do you think you can bring to the company, and then you say, "Oh, I think I'm a great asset because." So it's it's very commonly used, but it's not an idiom. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. But when you go for an interview, it's very good to know that phrase. It's like a phrase, but it's not an idiomatic expression. Okay. okay? All right. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. So let's continue here. This is what we're going to do right now. All right. Let's see. Here, vamos a, a retomar las dos preguntas. <laughs> what would be some benefits of you in the company? Lo vamos a volver hacia ustedes. What would be some benefits of having you in the company? Retrocede el tiempo e imagínense que usted está aplicando el trabajo que tiene hoy. All right? All right? Y si le hubieran preguntado, how, what are some benefits that you're going to bring to this company? ¿Qué hubiera dicho usted? All right, I want you to think about it. Ahora, ¿cómo lo vamos a pensar? Nos vamos a ir a los grupos y su compañero o compañera le va a preguntar, Ajá, Johnny, what are the benefits of having you in the school? All right, or Jasmine, what are the benefits of having you in the company? Okay, yes, you're going to talk about that. And I want you to talk about the experience. Is experience important in general? Okay, that's number one. Number two, when you got the job you have, did you have experience on the job that you do now? Okay, yes, do you understand? So there are three questions that we're going to do. What are the benefits? Hay un micrófono abierto por ahí. Dígame, Amilcar. Can you, eh, podría poner otra vez las preguntas para copiarlas, please. Sí, yeah, of course. Lo que pasa es que no están todas ahí, pero, pero sí, yo se la pongo ahorita. Only two, only two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Entonces, number one is what would, be the, what would be some benefits of having you in the company. Number two, esa sí la van a estar decir tal cual. Do you consider that experience is important? Y lo hablan entre, entre el grupo, ¿verdad? Why or why not? And number three, la voy a escribir yo por acá. Number three. Uy, ahorita se las bajo. Uy. My goodness, I can't. All right. And, whoa. And number three. Va a quedar bien grande. <laughs> I knew this. Why is this so big today? Anyway, did you? Oh, I get it. All right. Oh, now it's too small. Did you have experience? My mouse is not working today properly. All right. Did you have experience when you got your current job okay that would be number three all right acuérdense que estamos eh, acá hablando un poco de todo verdad so if what are the benefits of you and the company number two do you consider that experience is important yes or no and why and number three did you have experience when you got your current job all right so I want you to talk about this. ¿Puedo dejar de compartir? Yes? Yes. yes. All right, very good. Ahora, something that I want to tell you guys, y ayer se lo comentaba al compañero que se quedó conmigo los 10 minutos. El principiante 6 es un repaso de todo lo que se ha visto en el básico 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. Vamos a ver, recordar un poco el pasado, vamos a recordar un poco el presente, vamos a recordar un poco del going to o ongoing activities. ¿Por qué? Porque a partir del intermedio ya no se ve tanta gramática y mucha parte de la clase es hablar de ciertos temas. All right. Por eso es importante que desde ahora 
Eh, usted trate de participar más. All right. On topics, for example, is experience important? Yes or no. Tanto en el grupo principal como en los grupos pequeños, ¿verdad? Porque cuando llegue el prince, al intermedio y más aún en el avanzado, ahí de verdad que el manual solo viene con los temas que hay que, de los que hay que platicar dos horas. All right. And some questions. And that's it. All right, so you need to practice a little bit more now, okay? Entonces, con eso nos vamos a los groups right okay. now. Carla, Edwin. Marlon.
Hi, Vicky. Entonces, Hi, ¿cómo? teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, Vicky. Pregunta Entrando no tarde. <risa> ¿Cómo está Chalate, señorita? ¿Cómo está La Palma? Bien bonito, ¿cuándo va a venir a dar una vuelta? Ay, no quiero. <risa> Miren que sigo, aquel día estaba pensando, mi cruz. <risa> Venga, hace un día. Sí, le voy a avisar, Vicky. ¿Tiene el mismo número? Sí, teacher, el mismo. Vaya. Venga, si un día, un domingo. Ajá. Sí, le voy a avisar. Very good. Vamos a dar un tour. Yeah. Dicen que va a venir, que va a venir un, un frente frío, se viene cuando esté frío. Ahorita está normal, no está haciendo mucho frío. Ah, de veras. Sí. So, en diciembre sí se pone heladito, ¿verdad? Fíjense que este diciembre estuvo calmado, no estuvo haciendo ah, mucho veras. frío como en otras veces. Hoy en enero hubo como dos semanas que estuvo haciendo bastante frío. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Solo me falta un minutito y ya regreso a los chicos. Oye, así que ya, ya, Ay, ya, ya van a regresar. Pero... Okay, gracias. Bueno. No salí del grupo. ¿Hola? No salí del grupo por darle esperar el minuto. Ah, oh, alright, no, that's fine, that's okay. Okay. All right. Vamos a esperar a la... Yeah, everybody's coming now, don't worry about it. 
So Johnny, did you have experience when you got the job at the school you work at? So so, but <laughs> I don't have. I don't have. I didn't have. I didn't. Excuse me. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said that. Okay. Yes. So you didn't have much experience, Johnny. I didn't have experience. Uh, for example, in the in in the lesson planning. Mm -hmm. But the format mm -hmm. is different. Okay, yes. All right. Okay, very good. Excellent. Let's see. What about Maritza? Maritza, did you have experience when you got your job, Maritza? Your microphone, Maritza. No, I didn't, teacher. Oh, so you learned in the job, Maritza. I learned. I am, I'm um, uh, executive secretary. Okay. In, in the, in the job, mm -hmm. start with contable auxiliary. Ah, all right. I, I need learn to the activities. Yes, all right. Was it difficult, Maritza? It's difficult. Yeah, all right, okay, yeah. very good. Let's see, what about um, Ever, what about you? When you started working at the company that you work for? Well, your company, right? Did you have experience? Okay, did you see, yeah, yes, I did. Uh... I had experience in sales and uh, uh, market development. Okay. And around the, the country, only that. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. John, thank you, Ever. What about Jonathan? Did you have experience, Jonathan? Yes, I did. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm a, in my case, in my period, I uh, repair motorcycle. Okay. All um, right. Very good. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. What about in the case of Romeo? Did you have experience, Romeo? Um, yes. Um, it's important in the world. Okay. Um, a person. ¿Cómo se dice? Para trabajar como equipo y mejorar como yeah. persona. Yeah, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, to have, like, to work in a team and to have, like, better skills. Very good. All right. Now, when you began, Romeo, en el trabajo que usted está hoy, ¿ya tenía experiencia? Did you have experience or everything is new? No. Okay. Um, the world, my help, technical, the in the area okay and, um, and sometimes it helps me okay all right yeah. okay very good all right let's see anybody else volunteers what about the rest of you guys did you or not have experience when you got your job yes Hilmar, tell me uh, yeah. in my job uh, my current job experience is very important. Okay. Because I can make fewer mistakes. Mm -hmm. I can be more productive. Okay. And I can understand a problem okay. and solve it. I don't. I don't need much training. Oh. Okay. All right. Interesting. I, very good. I work. I work with computer server mm -hmm. all right okay very good thank you anybody else yes mariano yes, tell me uh, mariano and okay. then francisco i think i oh, know who's uh, Mikar, I okay. think. Uh -huh. mariano First. okay teacher in, in my in my job uh, i don't have a, an experience because it's my first job but uh, 
but uh, I study uh, uh, uni in universe career is okay. the, uh, the, the area, uh, any area, area mm -hmm. uh, to apply the your knowledge. Okay, all right. And, and the knowledge. Ah. Yeah. Was I it have knowledge. No, what? go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I have a, I am a, a how do you tell it? Uh, <laughs> uh, the knowledge of the university mm -hmm. to apply in, in the main in the job. job. Yeah. Was it yeah. difficult, yeah. Mariano? Uh, yes, it's difficult, but my boss gave me the opportunity to uh -huh. learn uh, ah. the, in the area okay. and with with person with more experience right okay yeah very nice so you had like a tutor in your job all right very nice interesting all right one more one more person i don't know if amilcar you wanted to say something yeah, yeah but what is that question teacher um did you have experience before like when you began your job did you have experience before or no you didn't have any experience Yes, I I have experience before to start my present jobs. Okay. And it is very necessary, but uh, I get I think uh, sometimes it depends. Okay. For example, in the companies there are jobs strategic or strategic job mm -hmm. and. It doesn't strategic jobs. Okay. In this case, in this case, I guess uh, the experience is not necessary um, for this moment. Okay. And the new employees can can he to learn on the time. Okay, they can learn on. Okay, I get it. All right, Amilcar, very nice, nice, thank you. Okay, very good, guys. All right, um, let's see. Francisco, why or how would you be a good asset or a benefit to the company? What do you do that you can become a good asset for the company? Or a good benefit? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I will try to get a better result and for the company okay. and also I, I will be a very responsible person at, at, at the work okay. because it's necessary, necessary for the, for the company to get a better result. Okay. And and I think that that I, for example, I am a, a efficient person. Efficient, yes. Efficient person, and and my area on, on different area, for example. Mm -hmm. All right. And. Mm -hmm. and that's good. Okay, very good, Francisco. Yes, I believe you would be very nice. Okay, so we're going to continue here. I think you had enough time to talk about that. Oh no, that's not it. Here. So here we have the following, guys. If you notice on page eleven, we use the expression or the modal verb would be. All right. So would be is to express it in a future kind of connotation. All right. So let's look at it here. How to use would be or could be. All right, Daniel, can you read this pink part for me, please? Daniel. Okay. Use would be, could be when you want to give the impression of possibility in the future. All right, very good. So here, thank you, Daniel. So would be and could be 
Um, we use it when we want to give the impression of possibility in the future. So you say, it would be nice to go to another country. Okay, it's a future wish that you want. You say, it would be nice, sería bueno, sería bonito, sería interesante, sería importante que yo hable bien el inglés. It would be very important. It would be very necessary for me to speak English. All right, so would be or could be in this context, we're using it to give impressions of possibility in the future. Let's see. Um, we have two examples. Can I ayuda a leer esos two examples that we have there? Anybody? Solo léalos. Anybody? Okay. I will be a great asset. Okay. I would be a great asset. Very good. The other I, example? Mm -hmm. I could be of great help in the South Department. Excellent, thank you, Jasmine, all right? I would be a great asset, all right? Or I could be of great help in the sales department. So maybe one day, guys, you're going to have an English interview, all right? And then you can say, oh, you know what? I would be a great asset to the company because I speak fluent English. All right, and we and I understand that we have American um, partners. Okay, so you can say that I would be a great asset. Now, de la misma forma que el can y el can't. All right, siguen siendo el would be or it could be modal verbs or modal phrases. Okay, por lo tanto, la estructura se mantiene y vamos a hacer subject plus would be or could be, all right? And then the rest, I could be. En este caso, el be es el verbo, ¿verdad? No tenemos que poner, no va a decir I would be go, ¿verdad? Eso no tendría sentido. O I would be have, no. I would be, estamos hablando de sería, yo sería, yo podría ser, all right? So usted dice I would be en este caso. Si usted quiere, usted dice, ah, él sería un buen candidato. He would be. Entonces, el would be no lo va a cambiar. El would is for everybody y el be is for everybody because it is in the base form. Yo puedo decir, Jorge Argueta would be a great asset in my new company. Okay, I can say Trini would be a great teacher in the new school. All right, so... Here we're using would plus be or could plus be for everybody, okay? Now, we have these sentences for number five. It says, unscramble the words to form sentences, all right? Empecemos a trabajar en esta parte. Hay que ordenarla, está mal escrita. Arrange them y veamos cómo nos resulta. Eh, en... Un par de minutitos empiezo a preguntar. Usted avance lo que pueda.
All right, guys, let's check number one. All right, volunteers, one volunteer. Who wants to do number one? I okay, yes, Maritza, go ahead. It will be a great opportunity to study abroad. No, yes, Maritza, abroad, very good. It would be abroad. a great opportunity to study abroad. When you say abroad is in another country, all right? Abroad. Yeah. Okay. Usted puede decir to study abroad or to live abroad. Cuando oímos esa expresión, digamos, eh, entendemos que fuera del país. All right? Okay. It would be okay. a great Thank opportunity. You. Yeah, you're welcome. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Very good. Number two. Daniel, any ideas, Daniel? Uh-huh. Could we benefit a training for our employees? Mm -hmm. Alguien más? Could we I have different teachers. Yes, tell me, Ever. Uh, our employees could be a training for a benefit. <laughs> Todavía nos hace falta darle un poco más de vuelta, a ver. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien más? Veamos. Maybe it could be a training, could be beneficial for our employees. Yes, very good. A training could be beneficial for our employees. A training could be beneficial for our employees. All right, number three. Someone has number three for me. Maybe um, Alexander or Mariano, Marco, Jonathan, Fatima, anybody. <laughs> Intentemos ahí juntos. Will be another benefit working less hours. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, number three. Aha, number three. Aha. I believe the number three is uh, another benefit will be working less hours. Podría ser esa, fíjese. Aha. Another benefit would be working less hours or. Let me see, hold on. Another benefit would be working less hours. Or working less Teacher. hours would be another benefit. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. right. Esa también podría funcionar. Working less hours would be another benefit. Yes. All right, very good. Number four. Yes, Daniel. To how a weekend off will be um, an option to have this stuff. Estoy <laughs> inventando, ahorita no lo he escrito, es que lo escribí de otra forma. <laughs> ¿Cómo lo había o sea, escrito, que, Daniel? <laughs> Una pregunta, es que el will be o el could be no necesariamente tienen que ir al principio de la oración. Pueden no, 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 no parte. necesariamente. Lo que, ah. pasa es que, lo que pasa es que necesito un sujeto, ¿verdad? Entonces, Ajá. si ustedes regresamos al, a, por ejemplo, a training, Exacto. ese es el sujeto. En la número dos, a training would be, 
beneficial. The training es, el sería, es como el sujeto de, de esa oración. ¿Verdad? Lo que pasa Entonces, es que no decimos es... it. Ajá. Entonces aquí en la número cuatro sería el sujeto, sería el, el, el fin de semana libre. Weekend o. Weekend o. Ajá. Pero no, ¿y el to have dónde lo van a poner? Uh, el sería eh, staff option yeah. weeks bueno, will be uh, I have go will have the weekend. Ah, oh. mm, I think that uh, staff uh, uh, have, uh, uh, no weekend weekend off weekend off sería el inicio. Podría ser, es de verla. Vamos a, a tratar de armarla. A ver, Francisco, ¿qué me estaba diciendo? Perdone. I think that is staff have a good option. And will be have a good option. Creo que se está complicando mucho, Frank. Yes. Pero saben qué? Son las 10 y 1. La 4 y las 5 Ay, les no. queda de tarea. All right. Mañana no es más. Entremos oh, a clase y la resolvemos. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. A ver, hoy se queda un ratito conmigo Carlos o Alberto. All right. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Carlos o Alberto Rodríguez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present. Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Present. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. José Francisco Hernández Ábalos. Present teacher. Carla ben Benazir Lara González. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present teacher. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. I'm here teacher. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Lizette Rodriguez Escoto. Okay. Uh, Romeo Alexis Rodrigo, Rodriguez Joaquín. Present. Jasmine Melanie Lemos Rodriguez. Present teacher. Marlon, hay un micrófono abierto si me ayudan con ese. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. All right, ahí está Trini, very good. Victoria Maria Vázquez Juárez. And Amil Carcañengues Aceituno. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good, guys. Thank you for joining class tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night, good night, good night teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye now. Tomorrow. All right. Hi, Carlos. Walberto, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Very nice. Tired? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this hour is a little tiring, huh? Yes. Very good. Um, Carlos, I don't know if you have any, uh, any questions about uh, what we were looking at tonight or any questions related to English that I can help you with. Uh, uh... I think I'm I'm fine, teacher. Uh, this this class, I understand uh, everything. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, I I like your pronunciation. Thank you. <laughs> it's very it's very clear. <laughs> oh, very good, Carlos. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I like, and I hope um. 
learn so much. Yes, of course, Carlos. And whenever, if you have any questions after or later, you can always ask me, okay? Yeah. Very good. Yes, very nice. All right, Carlos, I know you're tired. You may go. All right. So if you have any questions in the future, I can help you with that, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Yeah. It's all? All right, you may go if you want to. If you have, if you don't have any questions, we're fine. You can go rest and do your homework for the platform. Okay, teacher. All right, I'll see you hey, tomorrow, good night. Carlos. You too. Bye. <laughs> Bye.